little spring um, clothes, body products, makeup, haul, everything really makes me think spring and that's good because I need a little assistance because there is snow on the ground outside. I'm looking out the window thinking, wow, um, all right. I got some good deals at Rue 21. I actually hadn't shopped at that store in our mall in quite some time, um, but I was in the mall over this past weekend and I was just kind of looking around and I thought, wow, that store has been totally redone. Like they just totally changed the whole interior and so I thought well um, maybe I'll take a look around and I found some really cute stuff. One of the things is this top. Get these other clothes off my lap. It's got that kind of gathered elastic there and um, some kind of flowy floaty sleeves but really what drew me into this was the color and the print on it. It's got this great kind of light um, light turquoise color and then the flowers are like pink and purple. It is kind of a sheer top so I am wearing a white tank top underneath it but um, this was the only thing I got that I think wasn't marked down or on some sort of special deal. This was close to 20 bucks, I think, for this top. Then I found this other cute top that was marked down. It's got that cute kind of zigzag chevron, is that what they call it, print here. Um, mint green and white. It's got some buttons there on the front. This is really cute on. I tried it on and I thought, wow, I love the way that fits. Um, because it's not too tight, but it still kind of, you know, follows your figure. Probably a little more than the one I have on right now does. But um, this was around 15 bucks and I just thought that was very cute. There's also some sort of a two for deal on um, two for two for, I'm not sure what the price was. These are sort of like come down to your elbow type sleeves there on these tops and they've got like a little just notch there kind of v-neck notch on the neckline and these also are kind of sheer I sort of wish they weren't so I wouldn't have to worry about layering something but it is actually really cute when you do put something See how it's got that kind of floral um sort of lace type vibe going on there. I got one in this kind of light jade green color. Another one I was wearing in my last video, but that's that orangey coral color. And I also got a couple of accessory items while I was at Rue 21. Again, I was just coming up with so many cute things and they had this cute necklace. This, again, I was wearing this in my um, color lovers video, but cute gold with the turquoise teal beads there and guess what that's what inspired my nail design here I did kind of like teal and then gold sort of like domed right there um, around the bottom so this necklace made me think gosh I love the way the gold and the teal looks together so that prompted me to do that and then the other necklace I found I just thought it'd be cute with a lot of things it's gold and little like um, cream colored roses there so I just thought I'd probably have a lot of kind of pastel soft shades that would look really cute with that. And we went on to Bath and Body Works. And when I say we, I mean me and Tyler. He was with me. So I'm like, we go into Bath and Body Works and I'm thinking, uh, what can Tyler go look and at? And I suggested he check out the little... Um, car scents. You know, there's like the little, I think they're called scent portables and you can clip them on your visor or now you can like put them on your vent and then you get scents to put in them. And so not really thinking he was going to come up with anything, but then he decides, oh, I think I'm going to do this. So he got one of the little things that's in his car now. And he, you know, being a dude, he gets like the leather scent, I guess. Um, smells like leather car seats, I suppose, but it smelled pretty good actually. But before you start thinking he's too manly, he also selected Sweet Pea and Tropical Breeze. So I was picking out some new wallflowers. It seems like occasionally one of my little plugs that goes into the wall, um, and wallflowers, if you're not familiar, they're like little you know, scented oils basically that they plug into a thingy like that, go into your outlet, and I think they just make the house smell wonderful. That's one of the first things people say when they walk in is, mm, it smells good in here. So I love that. I want to keep that up, you know, don't want to let people down the next time they visit. Um, but I feel like occasionally one of my things that plugs into the wall will go bad, like it will stop working. And you can tell when you touch it and it's not warm. So I got just one more of those in kind of a basic color, just in case. And then I got five of the little thingies you put in. And these are all the springtime scents, I guess. I got the White Barn Number no. 3 Renew and Refresh. I actually already have this in one of our bathrooms and it smells awesome. It's got like a quail or something on there. Cute design. And then I got Pear. And so Pear has, guess what, a pear on it. 
super cute. And first bloom, this one's really cute. That may be a good one for here in the makeup room. Um, but normally they have a candle out so you can smell what these are going to smell like because obviously you don't break the seal on these and crack them open. Um, but there wasn't a candle out so I could test this one. I got it purely on the cuteness of the outside there. I got Market Peach. I love peach scents. So that one should be good. This one, it says Garden Bouquet. I just needed one more to get, you know, the buy six things deal. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that one smells like either, but I figure I can't go too far wrong with that name. And then their mini things were three for 10. And you guys, if you watch my empties video, you know I've got a real thing for Rio Rumberry. And so I found a couple more. I got the spray and I also got a little lotion as well. So I guess I'll use that as travel stuff. I love the scent though. This is such a yummy, sweet, delicious scent. I love it. And then um, the girl there had me try the Beautiful Day. This is a new scent. There's an apple. There's a picture of a green apple on the front. And I think I do sense a little bit of, it's like a little bit of fruit, fruity sweet scent, but definitely a little bit of floral in there as well. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to like it. So, again, that's called Beautiful Day. Just have a couple more things. Um, I was out of town recently, and you know what people do when they go out of town. They definitely scope out the drugstores they don't have in their own town. Is that just me? Okay. Um, but I went to a Rite Aid, and I don't have any Rite Aids near me, and I noticed that they had some Jessie's Girl stuff. Not like the full line, but they had nail polishes and then they had this little guy. This little palette here. It just says Jessie's Girl Makeup Collection. That's all it says on the back. And it's just kind of a colorful palette. And I don't have like hardly any stuff from this line. So I thought maybe I'll just grab this palette. It looks like it'd be fun for spring. Loving what's going on here at the bottom with these pinks. So um, thought that was really cute. I'll give that a try. And then, like I said, they had nail polishes polishes the Julie G kind and so I'm like yay let's support Julie G because she was one of the first people I remember watching on YouTube and um, this shade is called Shark's Cove and it's a mint green but it has a little bit of silver shimmer in it and I've heard people say really good things about these polishes so I was excited to get one of those and I picked up one more of the Vivid collection from Maybelline this is Vivid Rose and I couldn't believe this wasn't like the first one I went for <laughs> in this line. Uh, it just looks like a really nice magenta pink color. The two that I already have are On Fire Red, which I think is an awesome, awesome red. And I have Shocking Coral as well, which I talked about in my coral video. Kind of comes off more as a pinky shade. But what I have noticed about these two that I already have... Um, they stay on your lips a long time. Like they feel kind of moisturizing and the initial moisture may go, you know, in a typical time frame that normal lipsticks wear off, but they're so saturated and so um, pigmented that I feel like they stain my lips. Like I had this coral shade, even after washing my face at the end of the night, I could not like get this coral shade off my lips. So they definitely have, at least the ones I've tried, have a staining effect. So that can be a good thing if you're looking for long wear. So that's it everyone. Let's hope spring actually gets here soon now that it looks like spring in my house. I'm wearing spring clothes and it smells like spring. <laughs> um, maybe all we need is just the weather to cooperate now. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time and have a great day. Bye. Aren't you cute? What you doing? Just waiting for someone to come along with the camera?